What's up guys, it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. I'm here at SHOT Show 2022 with Eric from the Outer Limitless YouTube channel and my buddy Kyle at the Benchmade booth, guys. What's up? Hey Kyle, guys. I am so happy to see you here again. Yeah, good to see you, man. <laughs> it just seems like it was only yesterday that we were talking about some of the new stuff over at Blade Show. Yeah. Uh, figured I'd show you my EDC for today. Oh, it's the nice. bug out. Had to go ahead and represent for you guys. Heck yeah. But it seems that you got a whole lot on this table that's worth talking about. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these. Yeah, for sure. We can go ahead and jump right into things. So the first one we'll cover is the 533-3. So this is a mini bug out that we've known for a couple a couple of years now, um, but it's taken on the iteration of the 535-3. So think of that carbon fiber knife with the S90V blade. It's got the blue accents, the blue black backspacer, mini deep carry pocket clip and uh, take it down a little bit and it's nice compact carry basically fit it in an Altoid can nice easily concealable option so this one I'm really excited about I think it'll pair well with the the 535-3 you know for those that gotta have both of them um, you're gonna have the little option now the little brother um, so that that's the first thing we can we can touch on moving on so this is the readout so this is like a brand new, kind of a mix between like a tactical everyday carry option. So this comes with CPM D2 blade steel. And it comes through, it comes with this section in the back that's actually removable. And we're gonna look for opportunities and what we can do with that, what we can bring to the consumer, make this knife a little bit more custom to them. It's got the deep carry pocket clip. And it's just a very lightweight knife that fills out the handle, the hand really well takes a great edge strong strong blade very excited to see how this one does and how people like it once it gets out there so moving on with the rest of the tactical knives and everything we can take a look at something that we've kind of seen before in the past but it's taken on a new blade style so this is the claymore that we saw last year a lot of people really loved it very surprised at how hard that kicks but for those that wanted the plain edge version, weren't big on serrations, we heard we heard your we heard you, and we went ahead and gave you that. Still got the still got the lock on there to be able to make it so if you got kids at home, safe, or if you just don't want to see it possibly accidentally go off. It's a great option, deep carry, lightweight, very lightweight, but still fires hard, just like the one that we saw last year. Keeping with the lightweight theme, we have the sh the shootout here. So this is similar to the Phaeton that we have. And except for this one's even more lightweight than that. It doesn't have the aluminum handles. It's got this uh, CPM crew wear blade steel. You can see that the, the blade matches the, the switch right here. But this has got very fast options. We've got the carbide here for the glass breaking, the deep carry option, but very lightweight. This is gonna be something that if you want a really quick, something to deploy right out of the pocket, and you want it lightweight, you don't want to notice it, it doesn't, it doesn't jingle around or get scratched up by your keys or anything, the shootout will be a great option for you. So really looking forward to seeing this one out there, seeing how people like it. It's a beautiful knife. And then we got the immunity family. I'll go ahead and move all three of them together over here. So I love these knives and a lot of people here have made a lot of great points that this is going to be a new option for a lot of people that have to stay below a two inch uh two inch or you know is below any kind of really sizable blade blade shape blade length sorry um and this comes in both manual you got this manual option simple manual folder very thin blade m4 blade steel takes a sharp edge and it's got these uh barrel spacers with a bead that match the handle and the thumb spacers and then we have the automatic version. So these ones, very snappy. Real quick, very small, compact. I was talking to an individual earlier that was excited about these being able to be carried by uh, corrections officers, officers in, in prisons, jails that have to keep the blade below a certain size. Um, in some you know counties, states that has to be below a certain length, this will work for them. It's got the lock on the back, so they can lock it up. Don't have to worry about that very snappy there's the the blue version this one just a snappy it's got the blue bead blue barrel spacers lock unlock fire 
So really excited about that one. I think it'll be a great solid little tank to have in the pocket. So moving over, we're gonna take more of like an outdoor look at some of our products, starting with the Weekender. So there's two variations of this knife. We have it in G10 and then Micarta. Both of these blades S30B. And some people like to have one blade that's dedicated to one person. Maybe it's gonna be, you know, slicing up a salmon or a little trout that you just caught or something, while the other's gonna be for whittling or, um, you know, making some like light kindling. Um, and then it's got these uh, bottle openers here. It's a handy little thing have on there. So yeah, really looking forward to these. These are just simple folders. Yeah, like I said, it comes in the two different variations. G10 handles, Micarta handles. Awesome. Staying with the outdoor feel, we're looking at the tagged out. So this is a really lightweight knife. It doesn't have the thumb lugs on it. It's got this little spot in here to flick it out, however you want to go about it. Um, super lightweight. It's got the orange barrel spacers back here, a little mini deep carry clip it's kind of got a feel similar to the bug out it's very lightweight disappears into your pocket but it takes a mean edge on this it's got a lot of choil you can work at you're gonna touch it up hit it with the ceramic rod and be able to take it back out into the field have that just tuck it away on your backpack or your shirt um, it's a great little folding lightweight option and then we have the flyway here this is like a nice little CPM 154 blade steel knife that'd be great for for bird hunters that don't want something that's so big that it could you know cut up the meat or something or you're gonna go ahead and field dress something and it, it might nick things up this is like a really compact compact small solution so i think that a lot of people are going to be excited to get that out in the field as well it's got jimping here to really get in there make some fine cuts jimping all across the back to make sure it does not leave your hand while you're using it this is a great option. It's gonna have a little bolter on sheet that comes with it. Really excited about that. And moving on to something a little bit bigger, the Raghorn. Similar thing here with the jimping we can see immediately. Jimping up here. This is CPM Crew Air. And something that everyone has said that's picked this up so far is that it's just extremely lightweight. They see it and they think like, oh, that's probably gonna be a little bit heavier. You're gonna be surprised at how, light, how lightweight this is. It really does just float in your hand. Fills out the hand really well, and it's got just such a thin blade. You can just see it slices really well. Select edge sharpening on this. It's beautiful carbon fiber handles. And like I said, the, the handle shape just contours to your hand really well while you're out in the field. Really looking forward to that being dropped as well. All right, moving along, we have these two different variants of the meat crafter coming through. We got G10 handles here with the, the satin finish, S45VN blade steel. Still got the select edge sharpening on this. Very thin blade, offers some decent flex in there. And then this is the carbon fiber variant with the uh, S45 VN blade steel as well. It's got this coating, orange coating on it. Same thing, it's got select edge sharpening. It takes a very sharp edge, very thin blade, we can see. And those come with the Boltron sheath as well. And then last but not least, we have the Gold Class Unlimited Limited Mini Osborne. I'll give you a moment to just really take that in because it's a beautiful knife. People have been really, really impressed with how this has turned out. You can see the backspacer. It's like a floating backspacer back there. It's beautiful. Like a compact, everyday carry. For those that want to show off a little bit, have something fancy in their pocket. It's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Those are uh, fat carbon scales, right? Yeah, fat carbon. Beautiful. And these are all, so these are all be numbered, get a little card, some special packaging that shows that it's the gold class, limited unlimited. You got a special numbered version for you. And that is, uh, that's what I got to go over today. Kyle, you are the man. There are so many new offerings and so many familiar offerings that are coming here. I just, 
I was gravitated toward the Claymore because uh, at Blade, I really, really like this design, and I really like this uh, this here in the front. Was it front towards uh, this side towards the enemy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. That's so awesome. Yeah. I mean, between this and um, I apologize, the name on these were the Munities. The Munity. Munities. Okay. I'm really psyched on these too. I didn't know that they were gonna have like the assisted version, but yeah. that's a really nice handy dandy oh, yeah. like utility knife yeah. that, that that's something you notice right away when you open it snappy i mean go ahead and open that definitely all right let's see Ooh, very nice yeah and it just feels really good in the hand it's deceptively small yeah it's deceptively small i mean once you put it in the hand plus with the the, the lanyard here i mean it gets you a nice grip on it and and i mean really at the end of the day you know when you're really looking to do work how much blade do you really need yeah and for the majority of say EDC tasks or some you know very utility specific tasks this is really all you need oh yeah you know I mean really really nice and with M4 you're gonna have that edge that yep. you need for as long as you need it until yeah. you have access to your sharpener again so that's really cool Kyle yeah no we're really excited about the line and you know looking forward to seeing how people take to 2022 thanks so much for taking a moment to go ahead and speak to us here at the Benchmade booth Kyle. great talking to you man always a pleasure always